Jenna, and I am uh, Director of Operations and Production for NGBN TV. Hey, good morning. I'm Craig Hannum. I am a suicide interventionist or suicide prevention interventionist. Uh, currently, that's what I, that's my passion. Uh, the way I pay the bills right now, I'm a rehabilitation supervisor for juvenile corrections in the state of Idaho. I did 20 years, 29 days in the U.S. Army. Uh, after that, I did four years as the suicide prevention program manager for the U.S. Army. Wow, thank you for your service. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, and not, I'm not boasting. I'm just uh, demonstrating this because uh, the, my approach works. I was able to eliminate suicide on three military bases in the year of 2019. That means everybody, family members, uh, service members, contractors, civilians, you name it. Not a single suicide in those three bases. And all those those three bases had all the branches. I so, so what led you to this? Like what what happened that you changed your vocations within the military what were you doing before military police and counterterrorism basically we hunted bad guys okay and so then from there how did you make this jump from that to this um in 2010 i was stationed at fort Wachuga, and we had a lot of suicides and i'm like this is nuts and my guys are responding to it so there's two two facets of my my job i had the tactical side which was swat doing stuff with the FBI, deploying, you know, all that jazz. And the other side was just doing law enforcement duties on the base in the local community. So all of my guys were responding to all these suicides. It was breaking the park. And, you know, I'm looking stuff up. There's nothing in place. The program that the military had was called Ask Care Escort, which was great, ACE for short, you know, but it was like 90 freaking slides. It was dry. It was insane. And then the person that was teaching is reading word from word on the slide. I'm like, okay, yeah, your, your message is getting across. So I went and talked to the mental health department and that's where I met my future director. His name is Kevin Mills. And I said, we need, a, we have a problem. I need, I need help with this. So we wrote up a policy letter and the commanding general at the time said, oh, okay, let's do it. So we started training uh, law enforcement personnel, how to respond to mental health distress. It's, 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 it's just happening way too much, way too often. And um, as you know, like, NGBN, um, the TV network, is for men in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. And that is the highest suicide rate out of anybody. And, sure. you know, we decided to um, push really fast with this network once someone within our network committed suicide. Just talking about it, we found isn't... 100% effective and and because it's those other people like the spouses and family members friends so on and so forth what do you do or you know how many times have you heard or maybe yourself say mm -hmm. i had no idea if i only knew or you know i wish i could have said this or done this if i only knew well that's where craig comes in and that's that's the the point behind it is to just have a conversation, right? And, and it's a, I, it's a cycle believe, that needs to be broken. Exactly. Because I've also it, known it can be. Yeah, family members, and it just it just continues on because the cycle was never broken. April sixth, there's two of them, nine a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then another one. They're live too, by the way, nine a.m. Uh, Pacific. To register for the Equip Ourselves to Save a Life Suicide Prevention and First Aid Workshop, go to www.ngbn.tv. And for the complete article, go on over to discoverwayburn.com.